Okay, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. All right, <clears throat> so today I am going to be playing Oath physically. I do have the physical copy now, which I did a previous stream where I taught Coco how to play. Um, unfortunately, because the game is so large and I only have the one camera that you're watching on, I uh, unfortunately can't show the player board, so they are off to that side, and I'll keep you updated on what's what. But um, yeah, we have the Exile Clockwork Prince, which I'm going to be controlling, and I am playing the Chancellor, which should be fun. This is the second game in this particular chronicle. Um, my main goal here isn't even necessarily to beat the prince. My main goal is just to have zero rule botches, hence why... If you look up in the corner there, I have a rule botch counter, and I will keep that updated. So, if you see me break a rule, call me out on it, and I will increase that and fix it if I can, if it's not been too late. So, with all of that said, let's get into Oath. It has been a while since I've played, so hopefully I don't mess anything up. So, let's see here. Uh, what am I going to do on my turn? Um... Hmm. Hold on. Might hear some mic noise for a second while I uh, move over to the player boards. Let's see. Uh, all right. Hmm. What is going to be my move? I'm starting with Banner of the People's Favor. Ah, that's my first move. I got to feed the People's Favor. It now has two favor on it. Try not to let those fling off. So I will try and keep up with that. Um. Then, uh, what did I have? I chose the Acting Troop, which can act as Beast or Order or Arcane. So let's, uh, let's start out with a pretty simple one. I'm just going to trade. I'm going to flip that. So now it is face up, and I'm going to trade, which is one supply, for some favor. So I get two favor from that trade, which gives me three. And then, hmm, I'm going to search the world deck while it's still cheap. So that brings me down two notches. I have four supply left. So let's see what we get from the world deck. Duh, duh, no vision. All right. And we are going with, and I will scoot back over here. Mike is not in frame, is it? Okay. So let's see. Ooh, okay, a lot of Discord. Um, Naysayers is pretty good. Hmm. But it wouldn't really help me as I'm Chancellor. Key to the City. Uh, not super great in this one. Hmm. I think I'll take Marriage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one. And, uh, I'll keep it face down to start, and then these go out to the provinces. Oop, not underneath. What am I doing? Oh, it has been a while since I played this. Okay, then, let's see. What next? Well, I got four. Hmm. Uh, I do want to build up a decent economy. So, I am going to drop one of my warbands from my board over to here. Then I'm going to spend two to move to this empty site. So that is the hidden place. Oh no. Uh, do I have to pay for that now that I've revealed it? Let me check the site reference. Hmm. You cannot travel to here. Okay, so yeah, I got to Oh, I can't actually do... Well, how does that work? Hmm. Since I didn't know, but I've already traveled there, and I don't have a secret to flip, I presume I just wouldn't have been able to travel, so it's revealed because, I mean, I can't unreveal it. But then, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I got that. Okay. So, I guess I just wasted that, that movement. Hmm. Fairy Giant's pretty good. Uh, I think I will just... I'll, I'll muster. Yeah. Muster costs... One supply. Put on longbows. 
which gives me two from the bag. And then I will, uh, hmm, how many do I have left here? Three, six, 10, 14. I'll bank my last supply, which might be a bit foolish this early in the game, but whatever. So that brings me up to 18 plus. And uh, I got to do my cleanup. So I take this back. This goes to order. And that is my turn. So now it's going to Clockwork Prince. So the Clockwork Prince... Hoping I do not guff this up. So first thing it does is assess threat, which means... Hmm. Hold on, I'm grabbing the Clockwork Prince rules. Um, assess threat. Skip this phase on your first turn. Okay, so never mind. Don't even need to do it yet. <laughs> um. Okay, so then next up would be search and play one card. So we take three, ignoring visions. They don't stop, at least. Ooh, a bit slick. All right. Um, I don't remember what order I picked these up in. Whoops. That's, uh, I mean, that's not rules botch, but that is a little funky, so I will I will save that. Then, let's see, we're going to play friend, but there is no friend, so we're going to play unaligned to make it a friend, so that's going to be the elders. Um. Oh, and did I get, I did get a battle plan, so my tactics go up. And then Elders goes to there, so they get this, which brings them up to two favor. And that puts Nomad into the first step of the Friends. And then these, I believe, get discarded. Yeah, those get discarded. Okay. Then we're going to take two actions. So, first action, uh, can we pay for the people's favor? No, only have two. Okay. Uh, don't hold the people's favor. And let's see, it would be red, then orange, then black. So let's go orange. Battle ready. No, definitely not battle ready. So it's going to be trade for favor. So when we trade for favor, how does he do that? Realizing I probably should have brushed up on these before starting this. Gain favor from each empty card at your suit whose suit matches any friend. So that'd be one nomad. Uh, da -da -da, don't skip it. Okay. And then I take another action. Uh, can I pay for the people's favor? I can, can now. Oop, excuse me. Okay. So... The people's favor goes to the prince. With three on it. And then he... Uh, and recovering. Where does he send this? Um, oh, what am I saying? You go leftmost first, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, 
Yep, I think so. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from the deck out, so hopefully I don't guff that up. Okay. Um, so those two go in there. Then, um, that's both of the actions, so moving the start back to uh the middle of the people's favor quadrant right there. I'll show you where I start and end, but unfortunately I'm not going to be more... Uh, well, okay, I might put it up on here next time. Um, I think that'll be a little better. Okay, and then let's see. So I did that, took actions, now it's cleanup time. I didn't put anything down, I don't think, did I? Nope. Uh, oh, but do become Oathkeeper. So, uh, put over playing cards. There we go. Okay, so that makes the first round. Cha chunk round two. All right, so I lost the people's favor. I lost all of that. Hmm, what do I want to do? Uh, well, what I think I want to do, there weren't any no. I want some hearth, because I got marriage, and marriage is two hearth, so I want something like that. Where could I find hearth? I don't think there are any in the discards. Um, I'm gonna go to the buried giant, which cost me two. Supply. Then I'm going to. Um, do I want to search that or the? I will search the world deck because it's still cheap. So let's find out. One, two, three. Oop! There's a vision, but it it wasn't the one I revealed, so that's good. No nomad or er, hearth. No hearth. There is a nomad. That's warning signals here. Um. Hmm. Hmm, which one do I want? I want to hang on to that. Oof, warning signals could be good. No, I should specialize. Uh, I'm going to hang on to Dazzle. Face down for now, and then this will be discard to the hinterland. Well, that wasn't a super good turn, but you know what? It's not terrible. Um, I don't want to take that vision. Well, I won't have to. I'll wait for the Clockwork Prince to do so. Um, hmm. I still have two. I could go all the way back up. That feels like such a waste. I should be a little more aggressive when I'm playing against the um, Clockwork Prince. Oh, jeez, what do I do? Um, mm, uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to drop one of my guys there for safety. Well, two guys for safety. Then I'm going to flip my secret on my board to travel out to the hinterland. I Oh, oh I forgot. There's two coast sites. I got to remember that because that's... Very useful. Okay. Um, and I'm going to hop out to bottom one. This is the Rocky. Oh, three coast sites. Well, now that's very interesting. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to put a relic out here. So there's that. Um, okay. So, hmm. Still haven't spent my last two supply. Mm. I already know. Well, I don't know what that last. I'm going to. I'm going to search the discard. 
which is my last two supply, and we get hearth. That's what I wanted. Nice. Okay. So this is traveling doctor. Um. Okay. So. Uh, but then, uh, the the bandits would use traveling doctor. Well, I don't care. I'm not gonna fight the bandits. That's I'm saying that now. I will not fight the bandits. So there. So that's one hearth for me, and I will hang out there for now. And that is uh the end of my act phase. So I'm gonna go back up to. 17-11, and uh, did I put anything on the cards? I didn't, so we're done with cleanup there. Now it is the Clockwork Prince. Assess threat. Now I have to figure out how it works. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, and because they're Oathkeeper, they become now usurper. So that's great. Uh, no threat. Okay, so that doesn't do anything to me. So then we are pulling these. I'm going to try and keep them in order. Hold on. Well, this is the order they were in the deck. So, yeah, I will keep them like this so that they are in the correct order. The vision does not get revealed, so we're going to put that down. Then we have this. Okay, so we are playing Friend, which is the Ancient Ruins. And that will go to the Lush Coast, which gets the last Nomad favor. Wrestlers gets discarded. Oh boy, okay. And then we get to do three actions. I don't think this is gonna go for very long, to be honest, oh boy. Oh uh, no, I spent like 40 minutes setting all of this up. Oh, I hope this doesn't end in like one turn. I would feel like such a fool. Okay, so we got three going on. So let me actually, like I said I was gonna do, bring this up here. Okay, we're doing three actions. So first, we search. The search, I believe, works like the beginning. Let me double check. It doesn't increase the number of actions this turn, but we do another search action. Okay, and that's another vision. So that goes up to two. The vision doesn't, oop, and I forgot the vision there got discarded. And this vision will also be discarded. I might be getting those out of order, but with the discard piles, it doesn't matter that much. All right. Then, let's see. We play friend. There's no friend. Otherwise, play unaligned and make it a friend. So, we're going to play Tinker's Fair. Ah, the placard. Actually, I'll put that up there. I don't need that space. Which gets them a hearth. This gets discarded. Then Hearth gets scooted up to Friend. Oh boy. Well, that's the first action they got. Not great for me. Then we're going to go over to Travel to the place that would give them the most favor. So I have to do some, like, I have to do some thinking here. So probably a place with Nomad. Um, But Nomad's empty. Then uh, Hearth would be the next place. So, yep, the place that would give them the most is Lush Coast. All right, traveled. So that is the second action. Then we're going to here, and that's trade for secrets and favors. Uh, no conspirators, so no secrets, but favor. Tinker's Fair right there. They get one. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, I forgot at the beginning of this as well to feed the people's favor. So made sure to do that. Um, all right. So that is their three actions. We're removing the start. Back to there. Gentle, gentle. 
So that's where that's at now. Then, let's see. So far, no rules botches, as far as I can tell. Uh, I could just be missing them, which is very common. So if anybody watches this after the fact, please, please comment or message or however you're watching it, um, what you see, because I, I'd like to know what I messed up. All right, cleanup. Uh, no cleanup in this case. On to round three. So I have to do something about the usurper. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Um, Hmm. Right. Uh, oh, okay, this isn't going to be too tricky, so I'm going to use Rocky Coast to move over here, then there, so that's two supply. Forgot to flip my secret back over. Then I'm going to use... I'm going to uh, trade with Sprawling Rampart, we'll say. Or two favor. Because I have an acting troop. And that will give me enough to recover the people's favor. So that's got five on it now. Probably going to go mob soon. Um, I am going to put these. Uh, well, yeah, I want some hearth, though. So let's actually start it over here, going that way. There we go. OK, so I was able to recover the banner of the people's favor. So I am Oath Keeper once again. Then, I want, uh, mm, gosh, I really need to get another secret in here somewhere. You know what? I'm going to bank the last one, which brings me up to the 18 plus circle, which is a six supply for next turn. Then I'm going to do cleanup. Basically, just take that back. So that is my turn. Now we're going over to the Clockwork Prince. Uh, no threat from the prince, so we are going to go with, oh, actually I'll go this way. Uh, whoops, that one got twisted around. All right. Uh, those all have, yeah, okay. All right, so we got these three, and we are in the conspirator segment now, so let's up here. All right. So no conspirators yet, so we play unaligned and make it a conspirator. So that would be fire talkers in this case, because Nomad is already friend. So we're going to put that over to conspirators, and that's going to go up in... Ah, careful. The buried giant, which gets them one. And these get discarded. And that gets them two actions. So let's see, where are they going next? Sight with a relic. And the topmost sight with a relic is Buried Giant. So let's hop over there. Then we get, um, can pay. Can we pay? We do have a secret, so we can pay. So we're going to do that. All right, and so that 
gets them the relic, which is the circlet of command. Players cannot target or take your banners or your other relics. Oh no. That's not good in this particular oath, but okay. So that's it, just the two actions. Yeah, that's not a great start. Um, I'm not super happy about that, but nothing we can do about it right now. So, that's the end of that turn. Let's go to clean up. Nothing to clean up. And then, round advances. Round four. So, it is my turn as... The Oath Keeper and the Chancellor again. I don't have any favor, so I have to remove one, which goes to the lowest bank, Nomad. Then, I want to... I probably want to feed that, but actually, mm, I need a secret. I really need more secrets. Um, how can I get another secret? Ah, oh, jeez. Not many easy ways. Um, I am going to... Sp spend one to trade with the Sprawling Rampart, which gets me two. I have an order. Um, I have Acting Troop, which acts as an order. Which gets me two. And then I'm going to trade again with Longbows right there, to get a secret. There we go, now I'm, now I'm doing it. All right, then, gonna go down one uh, to the lush coast, and I'm going to trade with force paths with my new secret, and that will get me two. One for Acting Troop, which acts as a beast, and one just for the trade. So that gives me those two. And then... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. So I still have two left. I think I might save them. Well, should I? No, I'm going to get another secret, I think. Nope, I can't. Not from here, at least. Um... Where could I get one from? Ah! Roving Tear. So let's spend one. No, I can't go there. I could go to one of the coast sites, but I don't have a uh, hearth. Or do I? Wait a minute. Right, I have Marriage. Marriage is hearth. So yeah, I'm going to spend one to move from this coast site to this coast site. Then I'm going to trade two to hearth and i have two advisors because marriage is two hearth advisors so i get two more secrets okay that's pretty solid all right that'll be my turn then I go back up to 17-11 take these guys back so i have four secrets now and then these go to the hearth bank and these go to the order bank. Nice, healthy economy. Okay, so... I feel like... I feel like the mind map should have taken it back to... the people's favor, shouldn't it have?
Hold on. Am I doing this wrong? So, to assess the threat, as Chancellor, does a citizen meet the successor goal? They're not Chancellor. As Exile, are you not the usurper? Well, shouldn't it be... Hold on. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Because there's no usurper for them to go up against. So... Hmm. Um... Hmm. Ah, dang it! I forgot about the tactics. I don't know how many I messed up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the last two. Ah, dang it! Ah, uh, hold on. Ah, uh, curses! Come on. So I'm going to assume, hold on, so I did tactics on the first turn. One, two, this is going to be round four. So I messed that up twice, and then I think I messed up the assess threat on those two as well. So actually that comes up to four there. I'm counting that as four. I feel like I must be doing something wrong here. Hmm. When it says they act as if their threat is the usurper, there is no usurper, but there's an oath keeper. But it only talks about the exile oath keeper. So, I'm going to have to presume that's Exile and Oathkeeper. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense. He's never going to, like, actually aim for me. So I'm going to treat it as that, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And add that to the botch counter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to treat the Chancellor as threat, because while he's not the Usurper, which is supposed to be a threat, he is the Oathkeeper, so that would be... The Oathkeeper goal, which is down to uh, People's Favor Quadrant. So let's bring this back in. Right here. Then, all right. So now that I've done that, I believe correctly, now I'm going to search and play. And there's a vision, which brings us up to three. The vision does not get revealed. And we have these, which is, we play friend. The highest friend is Nomad. And that will get played to the hidden place. Gets them a Nomad coin. And that gets discarded. Oop, out to here, actually. Messed that up a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, but I fixed it immediately, so I'm not counting on the rules. Botches. Um, let's see. So then, four actions. That's not going to be great for me. Hold on. I'm going to get some water before I uh, uh, run through those. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Okay. So, um, what can he do? Doesn't hold the people's favor. 
Can he pay for it? Cannot yet. So he is going to trade for favor. Okay. So... Get out of here. It's a bug. Sorry. Um... Went right by the microphone. So that means that he's going to trade, and he can trade. Can't trade for favor, so actually has to go. Can't pay. Doesn't hold people's favor. Can't trade. Can't battle ready. Hmm. Or is he battle ready? Well, who's he going to fight if he's battle ready? Hold on. Hold on a sec. Traveling campaign. I think they can do more. So. Um, yes, he, he is battle ready, so we're going to zup to the holder of the people's favor, which I'm guessing is targeting the banner. Um, and yeah, I was a fool and went a place I didn't rule, so moved over. And so that is... Frick. Yeah, that's bad. It's bad for me. So, okay. I only have two to defend with, so he is battle ready. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we... Campaign. How do I campaign? Ah, okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so he gets three from his three starting warbands, and I get... Uh... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Four. Not battle ready, actually, now that I realize it. So never mind. Goes back to the buried giant. Well, shoot, where does he go then? Doesn't hold the people's favor. Can't pay for the people's favor. Can't. Right, 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 right. I remember now. It's if you can't. Uh, how's it go? Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to have to skip some actions. Can't pay. Not battle ready, so I got to go this way. Have to skip that. Travel to the most favor. I remember how this works now. Okay. Where can I get the most favor? It'd be at a nomad site. Nope. Nomad's empty. Uh, so it'd be hearth site. Tinker's Fair. Then we move another one. Trade for favor and secrets. How do we trade? Okay. Um, nothing there to trade for secrets, but there is nomad, which is empty. And then Tinker's Fair, which gets us one. Then can pay. Yes. Yes, they can pay now. So 
we're going to have to drop some stuff. Which is going to start... Uh, I believe... Hmm. Let me double check that I'm doing this correct. Leftmost, I guess. So, yeah. Going with Discord first. They are the Oath Keeper. So, they have five on the people's favor. And that was one, two, three, four actions, which was all that they got. So, that will be the end of their act phase. Nothing to clean up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh dear. It's fine. It's fine. I remember where it was at. There we go. I have to keep track. Uh, no one else can for me because it's all off camera. Okay, so next we are going to. Hmm. What next? Uh, right. That's the end of the round. Round six. Oh boy. Okay. I can trade to get that back easily. So I'm gonna. So I'm going to spend... Ooh, wait a minute. Before... Actually, before I travel, I'm going to trade right here. To gain two hearth. Actually, all three hearth. Because marriage is good for two. Um, then, I'm going to... Rocky Coast over to Lush Coast. And then... Then over there, I'm going to trade again for a couple of Beast Favor. Then I'm going to spend one. Spend one move up and then spend one to trade with oh let's say sprawling rampart which gets me two so now i have seven favor let me get this stack so i can show it off there we go seven seven favor so that'll be good for next turn in the meantime, uh, that is all <laughs> that I can do. So I'm going to go back up to 17-11. Then I am going to move on to the Clockwork Prince, who is the Oath Keeper now, so no threat. So we're going to keep moving along the mind map after I draw a Ooh, and I got to take my secrets back, of course. Of course. Wow, four secrets and seven favor. I feel so rich right now. Okay. Um let me see. What do I want to do? Uh I gotta search and play a card. That's right. One, two, three. I forgot battle tactics again. I am je suis boubou le fou. Alright, I can't look at that. That wasn't a battle tactic. Or that wasn't a battle plan that increased the tactics. So I didn't mess it up, but I forgot about it. So let's remember that for this time. 
Here we go. We have a battle plan. So the tactics go up. I remembered this time. Then let's see. We are playing friend. Do we have a friend? We do not. So we play unaligned and make a friend, which would be beast. Beast becomes a friend. All right. And so wolves goes right there, which gives up oh, nothing in there. Unfortunate for you, bud. All right. Um, let me double check. Okay, it doesn't matter if they don't get favor. So that is the beginning there. That gets them two. Uh, let me double check if I did that correctly. I did. Okay, so we get two actions for this guy here. Uh, holds the people favor, so we're going to search again. And that's a battle plan. Tactics go up once more. We're going to play friend, which now we do have a friend. This guy here, although, let me double check. Hold on. The highest friend would be Nomad. So that can go to the Barren Coast. Oof, run out of space, which you often do in the Clockwork Prince games. Nothing to get for him. That goes up there. And then one more action, which will be travel to the site that will give the most of that, which would be a Nomad site normally, but that's empty. In fact, all of the sites they could get them at are empty, so we're going to scoot them along to trade for visions and secrets. Skip that. And then we're going to travel to a site with a relic, which would be the wastes. So that will be the turn. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Oh, yeah. And since he couldn't feed the uh, people's favor, he lost one, which would go to uh, the highest friend, I believe. I hope that's correct. Uh, well, no, he goes leftmost. All right, so that is his turn. And then he is Oathkeeper, so actually... He would have become Usurper. I remembered. I remembered. Okay, now it is my turn again. Uh, I'm not Oathkeeper, but we are in round six. So, let's see what I can do. Well, obviously, I want to recover the Banner of the People's Favor, so I'm gonna. That will be priority number one. So, I'm gonna put all seven on there. Whoa, whoa, ah, uh, my coins. Ah, uh, I dropped the four that were on there, but yeah, here we go. Big old stack of seven favor on there. And it doesn't flip yet because it won't until my next wake phase. And then I'm going to put them on these. Four. Because I can do a little bit with Beast, and I'm gonna. So I'm gonna make sure to drain Beast and Hearth. So I'm going to spend one to move down here. And then I'm gonna trade twice with Beast and Hearth to steal away all of the money so that he can't do anything. Nice. All right. And I will bank my last one to go up to six supply. And then, uh, oh, yeah, and I became Oathkeeper again. And then the threat is going to become me. 
So he is going to go to people's favor quadrant. Uh, whoops. I got to make sure there's... Eh. I'll put this here, I guess. Okay. Then I do the draws. Oh, and there's a vision. Vision four. If I don't look at the vision, goes out to here. And then the old oak. All right, no battle plan. So we got the old oak and garrison. He's going to play friend, which in this case, the friend would be the old oak, which can go to the rocky coast. Doesn't get him anything. And he gets to do three actions. So can he pay? No. Can he trade? No. Can he go to one that has the most? Not for him. I don't believe, right? Yep, nope, those banks are all empty. Can't trade. Can. Could campaign. Hmm. Wait, is that campaign? What's that one? No, that's muster. How does he muster? Place one favor on each empty card at your site. Uh, no favor, so wouldn't get anything. Battle ready? Nope. So he is stuck in a loop. Hmm. How does this work out? Hold on a second. Yeah, he's trapped in an infinite loop because there's no money left for him. I suppose the one that would give him the most... I mean, it wouldn't be any of these. Because he can't get favor. He can't... Hmm. Could play card. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, so he just gets one, and I guess that counts as the action, right? So, can't trade. I uh, can't do that. Muster. He can muster, I guess. Uh, so that's... Tuck, tuck that under there. And that will get him two warbands. Which brings him up to a lofty five. Oops. His supply marker is still in the bag. It was throwing me off. Okay, that brings me up to five more bands. And that is, let's see. Didn't skip that. Skip that. So that's, that's two. He gets one more. Battle ready. The holder of the people's favor. He cannot. That is, he is not battle ready. So that means... That he would travel to the site again, which would get him another one of those. Okay. He is done. Whoop. I don't have a ton of space here. <laughs> this is a very uh, space-consuming game. Okay, okay, okay. So, this gets sent to the Beast Bank. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to grab my... Secrets. Since I'm the Oath Keeper, I get to actually make the roll, so let's do it. If I get a five or higher, it ends here. One. Keeps going. All right. So, I'm going to drink some water real quick. One sec. Oh, I've been talking nonstop. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, 
I gotta protect Miss People's favor. Oh yeah. Uh it's the wake phase. I'm putting another one on it. Which makes eight. So it's got eight and it's moved to the mob side. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> I keep dropping my favor. Yeah, that's two stacks of four. That's a solid eight favor. That's massive. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I did that. So I just need to protect it. I don't need to try that hard, though. I think, I think I'm pretty solid. I'm going to empty out the beast bank again with a trade. Then... Hmm. I should probably set myself up for some stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to move up one and trade a secret with this. And a secret with this to get the three favor there. So I'm kind of missing out on one. But that's fine. That'll keep me safe. So, let's see. I think, honestly, that might do it. Um, Heck it. I'll do a single muster. I can afford it. Which brings me down to... 12, which is the same amount. As long as it doesn't doesn't drop below 11, I'm good. All right. So that should keep me pretty safe. And I'll bank the last one. Bring me up to six supply. Take all my secrets back. And drop this on Nomad. Yes, everything's clean. All right. I am still the threat. But that's, it shouldn't change, I don't think. No, it should. Actually, yeah. So it's going over to the people's favor. Then, ah, uh, let's see, I gotta draw the cards. That's the last vision. So we're going to discard that, sight unseen. And then we are going to play friend, so we have a nomad. Can't go up any higher. What happens then? Nothing. Um. Oh, and I can't play it, so it gets discarded. Which means that gain two... Favorite. Where do I gain the favorite from? Okay. Gets one Nomad to the Ambition box, which is only for the people's favor and relics. That's fine. Okay. So, with that, they get five actions, so let's see if they can do anything about it. All right, I'll just hold it up here so that it doesn't get too messed up. Can't pay. Nope, only has two, so can't pay. Uh, not battle ready. Certainly not battle ready. Uh, don't hold the people's favor, so we're going down here. Uh, we cannot trade. So, and we cannot travel, right? Right, so gains one favor. Uh, cannot trade because those banks are empty. Can muster. So we'll muster. One, two, there. And that gets some two more. I think we'll make them battle ready. 
So let's see. Skip that, did that, skip that, did that. So that's two of the five. Um, let's see, battle ready. So they have seven plus two, nine. This is the eight. Uh, plus this, which uh, would add another nine. Oh, but then it adds that. So that would, I think, make them battle ready. So we're actually going to have one campaign in here. All right. So that's seven plus two, nine. Which would be nine attack dice, uh, minus one because of longbows, and then plus one because of planes. Yep. Versus, uh, oop, oh, and travel in campaign. Versus the site, which they must travel, and. Eight, nine blue dice, so I'm gonna have to roll multiple times. Okay, so there's gonna be nine of these, and uh, nine of these, so I'm gonna have to re roll three of these, but we will write them down. So here we go. Ooh. What do we got? All right. Let's see what we have here. And did that pair these off? Double check the glare isn't messing me up. Okay, so he's got three, six, and I've got five. And then I have to re roll. So that's five plus twelve, uh, seven, fourteen. Because it's at times two. 14 versus 6. He could get rid of 7, which would be 11. Can't win it. So, he loses half of his force. Round it down. And I win that. Nice. That was pretty exciting. I'm glad I got to actually di do a uh, campaign in there. All right. That was pretty fun. Okay, so that's, that's three. So he has a couple more. Doesn't hold the people's favor. Uh, there's nothing he can get, so he gets another favor. Can't trade. Can not, can muster. So he's going to muster twice. Which would make him battle ready, but it doesn't matter because that's the end of his turn. So these are going to order. That is going to beast. And we're starting over here, so he's going to go for it on his next turn. But I get a roll first, so if it's three or higher, it ends here. Where'd I put the die? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. It was in the trait. All right. Three or higher. Four. That's it. I did it. I beat the Clockwork Prince. Yay! I think I only messed up four rules, but I could be wrong on that. So if you're watching this after the fact, let me know how accurate that is. I probably missed a bunch of other rules that I wasn't thinking about. Uh, sorry, I just I haven't actually uh played enough of the Clockwork Prince. I've played over thirty games of Oath itself, but Clockwork Prince, very complicated. So now we are going to do the Chronicle. Um. I'm going to go from the book because the uh, Chronicle reference is apparently 
incorrect. So, <clears throat> one sec. Need water. Okay. <sighs> All right. I did not win with a vision. Choose any reference except this one. So one with the people's favor for sure. But it also used a lot of secrets. So maybe... Um, hold on. Ah. I had to grab my placards. Um, hmm. In Relics and Banners... Darkest secret. Let's go with rules the most sites. I think I think that works. You know. So get rid of the old one. Alright, that goes in the world box. Shashunk. Then Uh, not an exile. I may build or repair one edifice at any site you rule with no edifice. Any denison card. Return the replaced denison to the world deck. Or at any site you rule. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. I do want to do that. Oh, what are they? Let me... Let me check. Um, what's the nomad one? Is that any site I rule, right? Hearth. I think Hearth is the one I want. Right? That's like the Forge, right? Uh, well, actually, I already did order Beast. That'd be cool. Let's see. Yeah, let's do Beast. So we'll replace forest paths right there with the forest temple. Uh, discard all sites on the map except sites that you rule or that have any intact edifices and shuffle them into the site deck. So no edifices out. So we're going to get rid of these co-sites. Unfortunately, I probably should have gone to try and rule some. Oh well. Um. Okay. Shuffled into the sight deck. Shuffle. Yeah, they're very large cards. Shuffling them is not easy. The overhand is kind of the only way I can do it. Yeah. Currently, you know, I know many ways to shuffle. It's just like overhand's the easiest, fastest way. I'm just one last cut. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need these. Uh, so let me toss them up there. Then uh, discard dancing cards there to any discard pile. Okay. Uh, we will do them the classic way. Out one. To any discard pile. Return relic cards there to the relic deck. Sure. Didn't even look at most of these relics. Honestly, I was so focused. Um. Yeah, ruin edifices. Intact edifices at sites you do not rule to their ruin side. Didn't happen, so we're good. Discard at sites where you flipped an edifice. Set aside any sites with ruins and their attached ruin and relics cards. Remove all the pawns, favorite secrets, and warbands from the map. Okay. Can do.
let's manage all of that. All right, done. Fill empty site slots by moving sites along with their attached denizens as follows, upwards. So this should go here. And then we could do face down sites from the deck. So that'd be here, here, and here. And this is the Great Slum. Okie dokie. Then add six cards to the world deck. Uh, find the most common suit in your advisors. It is arcane. Uh, three cards of the most so common suit. Okay, and then we're going clockwise. So, looks like three. Uh, three arcane. Okay. Three arcane. To order. And one hearth. All right, there we go. Uh, we are... All right, remove six cards to the dispossessed. Set aside all five visions, including the conspiracy. Shuffle together all of the discard piles and the losing uh, advisors, which, you know, clockwork prints, so that's not a thing. All right, vision, vision, vision. Ugh. Pretty sure the other visions are in here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there they are. All five visions. Okay. So then we're going to shuffle together all of the discards. Make sure it's on camera. All right. And we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. Dispossess. Be gone. Be gone, heathens. You are dispossessed. Um. All right. Let me make sure I do this. Do this part correctly. So put the Grand Scepter in the world box. Shushunk. Done. Then, uh, relics of the losing players to the relic deck and shuffle it. So, circle it a command goes in there. All right. Let me shuffle these up and replenish. Uh, although, no place. I believe everything has all the relics needs. Yeah. So this is just going to get shuffled up. Pretty much. All right. Then. Stack the reliquary on top. I barely even looked at the reliquary because I wasn't going to be able to do citizenship with the clockwork prints. Um. Stack any cards. Okay, we're saving the map now. Stack any cards at each site on its site card. Then stack the sites with their cards so that the bottom hinterland site is at the bottom and the top cradle site is at is on top. Then put that stack in the world deck. Or the uh, world box. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Do, 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 do.
<laughs> do, 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 do. All right. This goes in the world box. Come on. It's a bit snug because I have the sleeves. It fit. And then I put them away on their current Exile or Sis inside, but nothing changed there. Then we rebuild the world deck. All right. Shuffle, ooh. Uh, shuffle all Denison cards remaining in play into a stack. Then rebuild the world deck as follows. All right. Hopefully I do this correctly. All right. Um, Got to shuffle these. And in fact, I'm going to do a proper riffle shuffle. <laughs> well, okay, not super proper. I'm ahead of practice. Ah! And we do the box shuffle. Uh, did, did, do, and then riffle one more time. All right, there we go. Then we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we shuffle in two vision. So that's ten there. Then we take 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the rest are over here. And so then we randomize the visions. Then we put two on this stack, three on this stack, shuffle these stacks. Trying to keep the visions from clumping together. All right, now we shuffle this stack. And then I'll actually stick the visions in the middle and such so that, again, they don't clump too much. All right, stack. The 12 on the 15, on the 18, and put that on top of what is left. That is our world deck. We put that in the archive. All right, that is it. The chronicle is done. Um, I do have the journal I could write, but I'll probably write that later. I'll show you guys. Uh, how it worked out. And we got some artwork from last time. Got the Chancellor doing the finger guns and uh, the yellow exile just freaking out. And yeah, here's some, some sketches and stuff that we put in. It's pretty fun. Um, and then I will certainly go to the next one with this. But uh, thank you very much for watching, whether it's now or later. If you watch it later, be sure to let me know how many rules I botched, because I know, I know I botched more than four, but that's all that I was able to catch. So um, let me know, and I'll, I'll update people on that the next time I stream Oath. This was difficult. I need a larger table, but I'm glad I did it. I love this game. I hope to play it more in the future, so be sure to follow and subscribe for that. Uh, be sure to use your Prime sub, which you can get from uh, Amazon Prime, just connect it to your Twitch account and you get one free subscription a month on here. And I'd appreciate if you considered giving me that subscription. Um, I wanna thank you very much for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your laptop, your PC, your gaming console, your Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll follow, subscribe, check me out on YouTube, 
uh, youtube.com slash Iggy and the Ape. Oh, that's a bit afraid. Just a touch. Um, I hope you'll follow me on Twitter at Iggy D Kid. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to uh, probably raid you over to somebody. Let me see who's online. One sec. Let's see. Who is streaming right now? It is kind of late on a Sunday, so maybe not necessarily anybody right now. Let's see who is streaming. Uh, they're just everybody. They're just recommended channels, so... Not going to raid anybody over this time, but regardless, you have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a great week coming up, and I hope you get a chance to play Oath, because it makes me happy, and I hope it can make you happy. Okay, everybody, good night, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.